A very warm welcome to Punchestown for day five of the big festival. It's sunny, but looks can be deceiving as it's quite chilly, but it's a, it's a dry and bright day and conditions are perfect for the final day of the festival. Of course, the big attraction today, it is Benny's to do. So unlucky in the mayor's hurdle at Cheltenham, falling at the last one in an unassailable lead. She's back to try and gain some compensation in the Annie Power champion mayor's hurdle at 350. It looks to be a very straightforward task for Benny Zadu and champion jockey Paul Townend. Stable companions Stormy Ireland and Good Time Tara have it all to do in ratings. They're rated £7 inferior to Benny Zadu, who looks a class apart, and it should, I say it should, be very straightforward for Benny Zadu, who is the star attraction on the Saturday at Punchdown. We've got another grade one of 425. It is the champion four year old hurdle, and fusel raffles from the Nicky Henderson stable. So impressive in the Adonis hurdle at Kempton for Isaac Swade and Simon Manure. He looked a leading Triumph Hurdle contender. Miss Cheltenham, Miss Aintree, he's on a retrieval mission at Punchestown and he should be very hard to beat, although the presence of Fakir Dudare brings the supreme form into the equation. And of course, the supreme winner, Classical Dream, was such an impressive winner here earlier on this week. It's going to be a cracking showdown between Fakir Dudare and Fusel Raffles. And don't forget French Maid, who was such an impressive winner at the Fairy House Festival only a couple of days ago. We kick off at 2.35 with the tr traditional Banks race. And of course, Enda Bulger has got a very strong hand here. He's got Josie's orders, who's a little bit disappointing in the Latouche. Only third, beaten almost 30 lengths. Will we see a different Josie's orders today? I'm not so sure over this sort of trip. Perhaps the one to be with here could be Hunter Hurricane Darwin from the Alan Fleming stable, who's got a terrific record here at Punchestown, placed on numerous occasions, and he should give a good account for Donna Myler. At 3.10, we've got a three mile seven handicap chase, an intriguing event in store here. Harry Fry, he's got a strong hand with Manila Awards, but perhaps say Jersey, who was an early faller in the Irish Grand National, could have a say. The rest of the card looks tremendously competitive, especially the handicap hurdle at 535, where bookmakers are betting seven to one the field. It looks wide open. It's a really, really good race. Plenty of form from the county hurdle at Cheltenham and the Coral Cup, so it will take plenty of winning that handicap hurdle at 535. And we finish off, of course we do, with the charity race. What a spectacle that is every year. It's the only way you could possibly finish, finish the Punchestown Festival. We've had a great five days. Best of luck on the last one.